It's a quiet suburban neighborhood on Red Bluff Road in Riverside. It's been two years. That's, gosh, time goes by so fast. He probably thought he was scot free. But neighbors here still talk about the 2019 shooting at the nearby Corona Costco that left a developmentally disabled man dead, both of his parents seriously wounded, and the off duty LAPD officer behind the trigger fired from the force. I feel a bit safer knowing that he's off the street. Charles LeBlanc didn't see former officer Sanchez getting arrested down the street from his home, but he says it's about time he faces criminal charges in the controversial case. I'm all for a charge on him, at least manslaughter, at least do some time. It was the state attorney general who ultimately filed these manslaughter and assault charges against Sanchez after an independent review of the case. This long after the Riverside County District Attorney sent the case to a criminal grand jury that found there was not enough evidence to determine a crime occurred. It's a politically motivated uh, program to prosecute police officers. Sanchez's attorney David Winslow argues he wasn't acting as a police officer, but a father protecting his child when Kenneth French reportedly pushed him to the ground inside the store. But French's father previously told us he was trying to protect his son too. I begged and told him not to shoot. I said we have no guns and my son is sick. So it's a really hard time to be an officer, it's a really hard time to defend an officer. Legal expert Alexandra Kazarian says even so, she believes a lot of arguments can still be made in Sanchez's defense. If people think that it really was egregious as a father and as a police officer, then, then he could be found guilty, but it's going to be very hard to prosecute. Sanchez's bail was set at $155,000, and he's scheduled to appear in court on Wednesday. Reporting in Corona, I'm Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News. The Dixie Fire is now the second largest wildfire.